Okay, today we're going to show how to connect the ID Wedge BT to any computer as a USB flash drive. This is how you go about changing some of the configuration files that are inside the ID Wedge BT. You're going to need a laptop, in this case we have a MacBook Pro, the ID Wedge BT, and our cable, which has got an RJ50 connector on one end and a USB connector on the other end. So the first step in the process is to plug the cable into the ID Wedge BT. It clicks in to place. Second step is to make sure the power is off. There's a green LED here that will turn on when it's powered on. You do not want it on. You want it off. Make sure this is off. The green light is off. I'm trying to stress that point because nothing will work if this is on. So make sure it's off. Press the battery button, button down. You'll feel it click or um, snap when you press this down and hold it down. So press the battery button down, hold the battery button down, continue to hold the battery button down while plugging the USB connector into the computer. Wait until you see some LEDs turn on the ID Wedge BT. Then you can remove your thumb and in a very short period of time the Mac or the laptop will recognize the new drive. You see no name, that is the new drive. If we click on it, I'll zoom in quickly here, you'll see your a number of files um, on the drive. Driver's license text, um, config.xml, those are all editable with a text editor. The other thing that will tell you you are in the flash drive mode is the ID Wedge BT will have a blue LED lit the blue LED that's normally flashing when it's connected as a Bluetooth device, this will be lit solid. This means it's in USB flash drive mode. If you make changes on that, on those files, simply save the changes and then eject the drive at the end of the process, unplug the USB port, and the data will be good to go during the next reboot. And that's the end of our video. Thank you.